Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Bill Kimball, Interim Principal at BFA. I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight and seeing this. We have approximately 36 uh, folks watching this stream right now, and there may be more. Uh, this is my first time doing YouTube Live as a broadcast, and luckily I have Dino Pastors here from the Tech Center helping me produce and moderate the chat. Also, Teresa Callahan from the uh, principal's office is out taking notes, and our hope tonight is to do interactive as we can through YouTube Live, uh, and we'll be using the chat window that's on the right-hand side. So we're hoping that, as Dino put an opening chat up there, that you'll use that to submit questions and put comments and ideas up there. Um, we're also going to use Mentimeter. It's menti.com. We'll put a link up when we go to an online poll to get reactions from all of you. It's up there right now. You can see that up to the up above my head there. And then um, we'll be using that to get some feedback at you in real time and then present the results. Um, our biggest thing that we know right now is that we really want to ensure that we have as many senior celebrations as possible. Um, that's something that's really important to us. I can tell you the night that the governor announced there wouldn't be school anymore for the rest of the year, uh, the BFA and Northwest Tech administrators, we got online right away, and our first thought was, what about the seniors and their celebrations? It's led our thoughts through everything we've been doing. Um, there's more we don't know right now than we do know, and that's part of my message tonight, but also to ask all of you to partner with us. Uh, I know, as I said earlier at the introduction, we'll probably be having more meetings either through this or Zoom or some other interactive methods to get information out to you and to receive ideas and thoughts from all of you. Um, so with that, I wanted to get going. So I think what we'll do first here is go to menti.com, put in the code 589416, and we're going to go for, to that. So Dino, if you can switch over to the Menti, there's a test question that's just a simple one for tonight. How many times have you gone for a walk in the past week? If you're anything like me, I'm outside enough times. I'm getting lots of walks uh, with the dogs we have at our house. So you'll start to see a graph like this. Dino's going to refresh it every so often to grab it. Uh, we know we have about 58, 59 people online. So when we get up to about 50, 40 to 50 responses. This one's not as important poll as the rest because the rest are about senior celebrations and what we want to know from you. But this is a way to see that you get to see the responses. Uh, some of you that were with us the nights that we did work on proficiencies and uh, a couple of other forum nights along with working with faculty and, the, and with the students know we've used this tool and it seems to be a great way to capture people's feedback. Uh, we want to make sure people are getting this. Uh, tonight's more about making sure we get some information from you about priorities and, and if we have to make some decisions. Uh, but I will guarantee you that as soon as we hear something, for, at, I expect the next time we'll be back to you is the beginning of May um, to talk about this some more, but we may get back before then. Um, and I'll give you some more context for that. I see people are voting. It looks like the majority of you are somewhere in the one to three times in the past week. I'd be way, way over to the right uh, more than once a day. I'm at twice or three times a day out there uh, because it's, and it's happening early in the morning and late at night. Um, it seems during the day I'm on Zoom or Google all the time with many, many different people and working with your teachers and uh, talking to kids and, and getting information back. So that's great. Uh, I'm glad to see those of you need, are using it. Uh, we've gotten up to 39 responses, and we have 70 people watching. So that's probably good enough. To, you know, I think people are getting the hang of this. Sure. We'll show that code and that URL every time that we go to do a poll. Uh, we have four of them that are relevant to the content for tonight. Plus, if you have other things to say, put it in the chat window. Um, we're going to be using a slideshow that I put together, and probably at the end of each slide, we'll pause for a minute. There is about a 15 to 20 second delay from when I talk here to when you folks see it through YouTube. We're watching some monitors coming back and we can see that delay. So there'll be some times when we just pause to let folks have a time to think and pose questions or comments after each one. So Dino, if we can go back to the slideshow, 
Uh, if you hear Dino's voice, you'll hear him. He's got a mic over there. He's going to be watching the chat with me. Um, uh, so we're working on that. Uh, the links, and yeah, you want to use the link from Facebook. Um, they, okay, a lot of people are saying they can't log in through Facebook uh, into YouTube link. Dino, I thought we had that posted. You had both. You had the two links sure, up so there. Sure, so the most recent link should be on Facebook right now, as well as the uh, MRUSD, the, the BFA website in the news section. That should be that should take you right here. Yeah. Um, you should be able to, we're, we're gonna, we'll slow down right now to letting people to get in on that. Uh, I see the number still climbing. We're up to about 90 feet, folks. I know you guys see that as well. Um, you know, we're just gonna kind of pause and, and let it fill in a little bit here. Um, it is from our side that's working. Uh, we did have one person text me a couple minutes right before that was helping us test, saying they were having some problems. And Dino said he put up both links in Facebook, uh, the short URL for YouTube and the long URL for lo YouTube. And I just, I just posted it one more time. And Dino just posted it one more time up on Facebook but as if well. You're here now, share it with your friends. Yes, yes, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and say it, Dino. Right, so if you're here now and um, you were experiencing difficulties. Go ahead and share the link that you have in front of you with your friends, just to make sure everyone can get here. Thanks, Luke, for sending that off to your advisees. I know you guys are good at helping each other out. Appreciate that. Uh, we're just getting this out and we're getting it up and running. As I said, for me, this is my first time. Dino's done it a few times before, but uh, I'm, I'm learning along with you. Uh, we're we're trying to do, and that's our theme with uh, the remote learning right now, is getting information out multiple, multiple ways. Hopefully you've been seeing that in letters and putting on multiple social media, trying to post it all over the place. Um, so we're trying to get it out there as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with some of this. I just wanted to give some context for this meeting, and I mentioned some of these things already. Uh, we've heard from the Secretary of Education that uh, what they're expecting to give advice on graduation won't be out until May 8th at the earliest, uh, but we felt that was too long to wait to have a conversation with seniors and uh, with parents about what we might do for celebrations. Um, as I said before, there's really nothing that isn't, that's outside the realm of possibility right now. We've heard some great suggestions, some really good out of the box thinking, and so we're, we're really wanting to take information. We'll talk about how we'll how you can submit information after this meeting uh, and during it as well. So um, I also wanna say there's about 12 to 15 staff members that are in on organizing all the different senior celebrations that we have from uh, the sports banquet for seniors all the way up to graduation and everything in between. Uh, we had a meeting this past Tuesday afternoon. Uh, they're feeling the same way that I am that we really like to have as many celebrations as we can, but it's getting it organized that's important. And some of them we have, we usually start our senior, our work for senior celebrations in January to get everything organized and ordered and in place. So at the end, I'm gonna show you a rough timeline of some of our cut points for decision-making uh, that we're gonna to have to do for different events. My goal is to push those cut points as close to the event time as we can but there's just some things we can't change. Um, we've also talked about uh, if it takes to order something and the order's not in, trying to do something in lieu of it and then getting the order, getting the official a plaque maybe or a certificate from the company that produces it out to people after that. So those are the types of things we're thinking about. Um, so I think what I'll do right now is go into our priorities that we're using the information on traditional senior celebrations and ideas that we have. Those ideas and information on the traditional go back and uh, will go, will be on the same slide for each event. So on the pri on the priorities, this is a document that we, an image we created about a week and a half ago. It's really based off of something you might've heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and how we're look approaching remote learning at this point. And we know for, for learning that there are three basic needs that really need to be met first before we get into academics. So that everyone's healthy and safety. 
that's the number one priority for all of us. And we're really pushing that. Um, there is only two of us in the building right now here at BFA, and that's Dino and myself. We're pretty far apart. And we're pretty far apart, yeah. We're across the room in the project space from each other right now. I'm on the green screen, and he's over on the other side, and we, we try not to get too close to each other at all. We're definitely social distancing. The second one is that this uh, situation that we're going through with the COVID-19 virus is really high anxiety producing. So we're really wanting to make sure we're supporting everyone emotionally, that they have the supports they need. If any, any of you need something from us at school in that realm, please let us know. Reach out to your guidance counselor. Reach out to your teachers. Uh, we're really concerned about that. Third, and school is a big part of our society and it's part of our social connections. I think for myself, that's the thing I miss the most. I've been at home, I've set up an office in my house and I'm on Google Meet or Zoom all the time. As I said, it seems like I'm on there all day long, back-to-back -back meetings, but it's not the same as being in person. Even though Dino's across the room from me right now, it's great just to be here with another human being I love my family, but it's nice to, nice to have some variety too. So I really, once we take care of all those, then we can start to think about um, academics a little bit. And so that's how I had a faculty meeting this morning with the faculty and they've seen this twice. And I know that they're, they're really understanding this. But with all that said, our highest priorities, and Dino, if you can go to the next slide, is that we make sure we have a celebration for the class of 2020 that we're gonna figure out how to do that. What that means, how, what it is, we're gonna figure that out together, but that's a really high priority for myself. And I wanna let all of you know that. Um, so we're, uh, we're getting that, we wanna get that going and that's why we're having this meeting tonight is just to, to let people know that and know the information that we know right now. Um, and I wish we had more, but I just wanted to kind of give, I thought it was really important to get all, to all of you seniors and parents to know where we're at right now. Uh, I've had some great emails and suggestions from parents, so keep those going. We're gonna talk more about that. Uh, so then, Dino, if we can move on, I think we're gonna go on to talking about the different uh, celebrations that we have there. So here's a list of some of the, it's a shortened list of the, senior celebrations, but these seem to be the specific ones that we're going to talk tonight about uh, and different ways we may be, alternatives we may have. So my plan is to go through each one of these, look at them, we'll take a pause and see if anyone has any questions or um, comments they'd like to make about it or ideas. And Teresa Callahan, you can see she's in the chat. She is the conductor of all the senior celebrations. She's the uh, top level organizer to make sure that they all coordinate between each other. So she may have some responses as well as we go through. So Dina, think we should move on? Sure yeah, let's move on to the, to the first one. So the first one we're going to talk about is the senior receipt. When, they, when you get your yearbooks and caps and gowns, this usually happens traditionally at um, during enrichment, during the week before graduation. Um, I don't know, Dino, if you remember from when you graduated, do you remember when this happened during that week? Yeah, yeah. Everyone you want up. Tell, okay. tell me a little bit about it. So I, from what I remember, everyone kind of just lined up um, by advisory uh, outside of the cafeteria to pick up their caps and gowns. Or, and I think that there was also like a booth where you could um, apply or register to get your class ring and all of that good stuff as well. Yeah, so we'll be figuring all that out. Um, we started to think about... Uh, oh, and I'll talk about something else in a minute here. I'll talk about prom in a minute, but um, just the idea, if we have to do something with social distancing, we've been using our cafeteria as a way to hand something out. So if we had to do, that's an idea we have right now. Um, and I'm sorry, I didn't put something on prom here. I'll tell you right now that um, around prom, and I understand I have a daughter myself who's a junior, who's part of her junior high school, uh, officers and is, is, a, is on the prom committee. Uh, she's purchased a ground this past February. She's, she's a little disappointed because they've already called off their prom. We are gonna make that announcement next week. We, I had a meeting with the junior class officers. Uh, we're looking at postponement right now to see if we can have it in June. Um, we're looking at alternative dates. We'd like to have it. Uh, we're looking at other weekends, the first weekend in June before 
uh, graduation and we're talking with the event site. We've had two events, one event site come back uh, through the junior parents that said they could host it possibly there, not at the Hilton that we had planned on. Uh, but we'll be making that announcement about prom next at the end of next week, uh, letting everyone know. We want it. I had a meeting this past week with uh, about two thirds of the high school principals in the state of Vermont. We meet every Monday, and it's what we learned our first meeting this past week, and we talked about prom is that the schools that have prom early in the month of May have made the decision to postpone. The schools that are in the mid May where we are are making that decision somewhere here before April break and the other ones are waiting to the end of May for the end of May prom. So it seems like everyone's giving themselves a month to get on that. Uh, I'll be a little louder if I can. Uh, hopefully maybe there's a little more volume on the computer. Dino can turn up my, the, the, my mic volume as well. And we're gonna, and we could have prom at school. Yep, the, prom, the junior class knows about that. Uh, we have the gym, we know we could do that. So there's plenty of, plenty of spaces and ideas uh, we're not so worried about, we're worried about aligning it for a date that every, the most amount of people can make it, not so much the where right now. And that's what we're trying to align. It's trying to juggle all these different events. Um, and I see someone said anywhere but school, and I've, I've heard that too. So uh, we get you, the juniors actually said the same thing to me. We'd rather have it someplace other than school, and, but school is a last resort. So we're going to do the best we can with, with prom. I hope I gave you enough on that. I probably should have added a slide. Do you think I covered enough in prom? I think that with the information that we have regarding health and safety and, and just the capabilities, uh, I think we've covered it. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we're learning with, co I've been hearing, especially the past week, I think I heard it from the head of the CDC uh, this morning when I was watching him on CBS uh, Morning News was saying that uh, the time it took us to get to the peak is going to be shorter than the time it takes us to get out and it'll be a slow release of social distancing so um you know as we've heard i think we've heard from the governor in his press conferences that peak should be anywhere between now and the first of may and we'll hear the call from them and, and that's going to affect a lot of our timings here with different events so uh yeah thanks Teresa, for putting that in the comments okay so let's move on i i also should have said we're trying to uh I know we announced this from six to eight. We're hoping it would be an hour. I thought about some of the Facebook live events I've been in and when I've been just a participant, not the speaker, that after an hour it started to get a little old. So we're, we're trying to shoot by seven. The next piece we're gonna go over is the senior family brunch. So if you can go that, oh, thanks Dino, you're already there. Um, as I look at my monitor, I'm just a little behind. Um, this is something that's put on by the alumni and faculty and that is done together in partnership for the faculty to serve lunch, uh, serve brunch to the senior and their families. Uh, Carla Kane and Luke Chaffee organized this event. They do a, what I hear a tremendous job. As you all know, this is my first year. So I was really looking forward to being one of the servers uh, and helping all and being part of that. I thought that would be really f fun. One of the things that we, Carla was saying to, to me earlier this week was that uh, it takes about four to f about five weeks out. We have to start ordering supplies for this event. So this is probably one of the first things on the timeline. I'll show you at the end that we're going to have to adjust. Um, we may find other ways to do some of the same things. We know there's some scholarships given out there and there are other celebrations that happen there. So we may, we just may have to find a different way to do that. Um, and I can tell you that we've, there's some of us that are, are on the staff here and across Maple Run that have said, hey, we've got to have some sort of big celebration. I'll talk more about that later. Um, all right. And so one idea that we've had is that, um, that I, that's on the bottom of the sl slide is to have some sort of big celebration up at Collins Pearly. I have to thank Tim Vians, the, the director of Collins Pearly. He's, he said to me, I think within 12 hours of hearing that school was, was closed for the rest of the year, he said, we are going to have something big up at Collins Pearly. He goes, well, we're going to make it a big event. We'll have a, some, some food. And, and he's like, well, we'll get fireworks and we'll have a big party outside and we're going to do something, but we're going to do it. He's probably our head cheerleader in doing some big event for the seniors. So he, he's right in on this and he's been really tremendous and a big support. And uh, we're, I, I can say we're all very much committed to that. So um, we'll take other ideas as well, uh, but these are just one. So... 
maybe Dino, I, I haven't seen much yet. Uh, in the comment box, I'll wait a minute, uh, 30 seconds or so here, but then maybe we'll just move on to the next one. Sure. But let's hold for a second um, on the senior brunch. And then I think maybe we'll just go on and uh, we'll go to the senior sports banquet. Thank you, Dino. Thanks, just need a drink of water. A little too much talking here. Um, the, uh, the athletic department every year has a senior sports banquet that not only recognizes sports, but any extracurricular activity that kids are in and, um, and celebrates their work and their achievements over their four years here at BFA. And it's something that's really um, special to all those who partake partake and to their families. And so uh, I know that Dan Marlowe, he's really um, adamant of trying to make this work. And even if it means we adjust the event. So we think this, that we think it's approximately three weeks, but it might even be shorter that we have to make the decision before we have to have it. It's usually two Sundays before graduation is what it's been traditionally. Um, so we usually have that. It's always been in the gym, but um, you know we can look for other places as, as well. Um, this is another idea that we might combine something in Collins Pearly. We don't want to put much, you know, we don't want one huge event because it may take us all day. Uh, so maybe a couple. Um, we're looking for other ideas there to recognize our seniors and their athletic prowess and their prowess on the stage and in the chorus and in, and band and orchestra. Uh, so we want to make sure we celebrate all the, those great attributes of our senior class uh, and what they do outside the classroom. Um, so if there's any thoughts on that, uh, we'd be glad to have them. Uh, like I said, we, we have as a re possible recognition that we've had one idea is if we need to have a possible recognition out, outdoors and we have social distancing, can we do it in cars in a parking lot or something like that? I don't know if you've heard anything like that, Dino, or... I've, uh, I've heard a few ideas like that um, from both students and parents. I don't know. I don't know how much. Yeah, we'll have to see what we can do safety and what's what we have for guidelines. I mean, the other piece is working with the public safety officials here in St. Albans, and they've been great partners in everything we've been doing so far. I can't thank the chief of police enough. I know he heads that committee, and uh, he's been really, really helpful and understanding of what we're trying to do, and uh, as well as keeping everyone health and healthy and safe. We do have a, a comment from someone saying that a you know super awards day at the complex would be a, a neat idea. I, I like that idea too, and I, I I actually thought if there's some way to like bring in some of like bouncy house type of things yeah. and have activities and go around and have a big fun have it be an outdoor indoor on a nice right. day would be the really good. Obstacle courses, that's what they call. Yeah, the obstacle courses, that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big I was a big fan of uh, an old show of obstacle courses. I'm trying to remember what the name of it used to be on ABC. Like Wipeout. Wipeout, yeah, Wipeout. That's what it was. Yeah. So I really I like those type of things. I'm a lot of fun into them. My kids and I get into them quite a bit. All right. Uh, can I speak a little? So I guess I need a little bit more volume there. Sure. Dino, it on uh, my mic. That's just about I think as loud as we can go without some distortion. Here. Yeah, Greg. I hope it. I, I hope this is working better for you, Greg. If it isn't, let me know. I'm speaking up a little bit. We also don't want to distort the sound. So um, I hope it's working for everyone to hear that. Uh, th let's go on to class night, Dino, and we can talk a little bit about that. Sure thing. Um, cl class night has traditionally been an evening where the department chairs present the seniors with the department awards and scholarships are presented to the class. It's something that all fam family members attend with the seniors. Um, we think this is about three weeks out as well. We need to have a decision. It might be something shorter. Dr. Randall and I were talking about this on Tuesday afternoon. Um, and I frankly, we, we, we weren't exactly sure. We thought we'd put three weeks on it because we just don't know what we, what we need to have prepared besides the plaques and awards themselves. But uh, Ms. Callan has, has said, you know, we can always give kids certificates and then get the plaques and get them to them to still have the, the recognition and a public recognition. So we're trying to get ideas like that of how we can do it. Um, and to have this uh, still be a special night. I remember at the schools I've been working as an administrator for high school that 
really having scholarships on another night is, is, is a really nice thing to do or an early evening and to have it be a special event there for, for the seniors and for their awards. Um, Ms. Callan also just reminded me, she put in the chat room, we're recording this. So for those who aren't here tonight, they'll be able to see it. We'll put a link up on the BFA website, on Facebook, on the Green and Gold blog, so people can get to this again later on. Um, you know, people's, this is one that I, that we, I, for me, it's always been a dear spot for me. Um, in the past seven or eight years, I've taken part in a recognition like this for students, and it's one of those nights that just makes you really proud for all the kids uh, in the senior class. So we're going to try to make this one happen make as sure well. They get the recognition they deserve. Yeah, and, and all the hard work, and uh, it's amazing the number of scholarships that our kids have access to and they get awarded. Um, so they really deserve that, that recognition. Uh, will National Tech Honor Society banquet before graduation? So the seniors are, yes, that's on our list. Uh, we don't have a slide for that tonight. There, you're going to see a slide at the end that has others. Dino, do you want to talk a yeah, little bit yeah, about so that? I do happen to know we, we are working on um, a, an event at the Tech Center uh, for NTHS and recognizing those students. Um, we're meeting pretty regularly about it, and we should have more information um, for, for parents and students within the next few weeks. Yeah, and Dino, she mentions the slashes there. Oh, Dino, you need to, just, your, your mic needs to be up a little bit too. And so um, there was some mention there about the sashes and, and that's one of the things we wanna make sure is that those get distributed to seniors for the different events. I, I'm sure there are others besides, Dino, I'm sure there are others besides National Tech that have yeah, some sort of sashes yeah, and- there's the National Art. National Society, Art one, okay. Yeah. So there, there are a couple. There are a couple, good, good. Um, thanks about my voice there, Teresa. Um, okay, one of, the, I think after class night, uh, we're gonna go to project graduation. That happens the night before graduation up at Collins Pearly. That's where there's the seniors have fun activities like an obstacle course. Uh, they play games and constants. There's hypnotists. It's all substance free. Uh, there's a senior potluck that goes with it as well. Uh, and there's usually a slide, senior slideshow. Uh, you should have seen an announcement. I think it happened a day yesterday. There's an announcement out. If you haven't gotten in uh, pictures, baby pictures of the seniors for the senior slideshow, those are being collected. Um, and we'll get out more. We'll make sure we get that information out as well. Uh, project graduation is an event that students are only at with the chaperones. Uh, that usually happens after the senior slideshow and goes on. Uh, that's probably something, as we said, about having a senior night. We'll go, uh, we'll go through that. So, Dino, there's been a couple comments here. I'm going to take a, a pause. It says, can you recap the gown and cap for grad? The link I had didn't work. Uh, we'll have to get, so I joined, okay. And... Um, and, and I just, Dino just, I just reiterated what I had said earlier. Yeah. Okay. And I guess I'm a little loud now. Craig, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> We're just trying to get this all right as we get through this. Um, so we are, I want to make sure I'm on the right slide here. Um, yep. We're going to go over graduation rehearsal. And then uh, I missed one of my. My, my polls, Dino, but we'll just go over it for right now. Sure, sure. You know, and we'll just skip to the second one. Um, well, actually, we'll have to go through. We'll have to ask each poll the way the poll works. All right, okay. I can switch over to that. And we'll switch over. Anyway, but let's do this these next two, and then we'll ask them. All right. Okay. So um, for we have graduation rehearsal, which is what we're going to – I think you have that up, right? Yep. And um, this is something that seniors always attend the day before. It's usually a 9 a.m. type of thing where we go through graduation, practice it a few times, and then tickets are given out for graduation. That's something that we'll be announcing right with when we announce what we're doing for graduation. Um, if we have to do something with social distancing, we'll figure that out, um, and we'll do some sort of pract whatever practice that we need to do and, and get information. Uh, so just wanted to kind of let you know that there will be a day before the graduation event that we'll have some sort of organization so we all know what we're doing. Uh, if we're allowed to come together in a big, uh, in our formal graduation that we've always done at Collins Pearly on a Saturday, 
then this will be on the Friday before. And then tickets will be given to families for the reserve section, and then there's the open section in back. Perfect, so it won't stray too, too far from tradition then. We're trying not to. We wanna stay right, we're trying to stay as much as we can with tradition. Um, so then I'm gonna go on to graduation here. Uh, <laughs> okay, graduation, as you all know, is held in Collins Pearly on the second Saturday in June. It's June 13th, that's our scheduled day. Students usually need to be at the rink by 945 and four tickets are given for the reserve and there's extra room in the back. Um, you know, we, we really wanna have this day, on this day we wanna have graduation. That's our biggest intent. Um, but we have, we want, we've had an idea that came to us which I thought was a great idea, which is to congregate in a parking lot if we had to have social distancing and have some sort of parade through town where kids stop at BFA and I hand, or Dr. Durth hand, or the chair, Mr. Morrill, hands out uh, the diplomas. And then we all meet up at Collins Pearly and have some sort of celebration there in the parking lot. Uh, those are not crazy ideas. There is no crazy idea. So we're looking for good ideas. Uh, we really wanna include you on that. Uh, so we at, we're gonna give you at the end. But I think, Dino, we're gonna go over to, um, a poll. So if you could go to the next poll for us. Sure. And that's the priorities. That's the priorities. And I meant to ask this earlier, but I'd still like to hear from all of you. What are your priorities for senior celebrations? And some of you have been putting up, I can see there's some up there grabbing. If you stay on it, you should be able to see the responses um, and be able to go and put in put in something so um and uh you will you should you can grab some of those we're having some that says everything graduations and sports banquet we're seeing a lot of graduation ceremony prom a combined scholarship award ceremony for the typical awards we're seeing a lot of graduation senior brunch uh graduation is de definitely a priority senior brunch potluck would be nice um, so we'll, we'll put this all out as I've done in other forms of what we've gotten from everybody, but this is just a great I way for you to give us some feedback right night, right now. Uh, some people said the graduation from Northwest Tech Center, appreciation night, uh, prom, traditional graduation, not a driving one. I totally agree. I want a traditional graduation. I'm right there with everybody on that. I really love graduation. It's something I've cherished since... I was started as an education administrator almost 20 years ago. I can remember being in the uh, at People's Academy and being one of the leading administrators to lead the faculty parade in. And from then all the way till last year, being someone that was up on the stage shaking hands of graduates and handing out diplomas. So it's, it really, I'm not a ceremonial person, but graduation to me means a lot. And I, I know it's because it's the work I do, but it, I, I, want, I want you to know how much it means to me. Uh, we're, seeing, we're seeing, I see everything a couple of times up here, walking, at, I see a lot of graduation, so we're walking at graduation, I see that. So prom, so that's, this is great. You guys are giving us awesome feedback. We're gonna use this to go forward. So Dino, let's go on to the next question. Sure, and I, I'll, I'll remind everyone, please leave your ideas in the chat so that we can record them for later. Yeah. That's great, Dino. That's a, that's a good place as well. Uh, we're going to have other ways for you to submit information. Uh, the next question for you, oh, next poll. the next poll, we're going to go on to the next poll. So you got to go to that. Yeah, get that. You probably have to click on it. There we go. So we want to ask this because this is a question that um, spurred from a gra uh, question from the uh, BFA Northwest Tech administrators. And we said, if we couldn't have graduation on the 13th of June and we had to postpone it, which is the, your highest prior, which is most important for you? Holding it on the 13th, waiting so we can get everyone together before July 15th or waiting for everyone to get together before August 15th? This is if we have to postpone. It's kind of given us some idea because as I just saw in the last poll, a lot of you said having a traditional graduation was really important to you. So this is telling me kind of what, 
what works for all of you right now tonight. And we just thought it was a good way of grabbing if we had to postpone what works. And, and our, our goal, I want to be clear, our goal is not to postpone. That is really our goal. We do not want to do that. But we have to think about some contingencies just in case. Let me, I'm going to look at the chat real quick. Sure do you know, see yeah. if there's anything in there? Um, has anyone asked the seniors? We're doing this right now, and, and we'll get a poll straight out to the seniors. That's a good, a good point there, Jen. Uh, we'll do a, just a senior poll as well. Perfect. We can definitely do that through a Google form. Uh, so we'll get that out. This is just our first attempt tonight. So thank you for saying that. That's really good. Do you want to hang on a minute? Uh, well, we've got about 73 people. We got 141 watching. Um, so we'll let it go for a little bit longer. Sure. And then you can have you shot. Can people see this up here? Or are you just taking yep. shots? Great. So they can see it as it moves. Yep. Dino. Great. At one point, Dino, and I thought all we could do is a screenshot for you. So he's he's figured out the technical bugs to get around it. Thank you, Dino. Yeah, this is all live. Great. Great. Okay, I think we'll move on to okay. that and we'll go back to the presentation. We do actually, so go ahead, there, is, there is a question about the, the appreciation night at the tech center. Uh, we, we are working to, to figure something out here. Um, we have uh, a few teams uh, of admin and teachers um, and, and we'll have a, a senior survey, a senior survey um, going out as well so that we can try to figure out what works best for um, our version of the graduation, the appreciation night. So we'll probably have an answer for you within the next few weeks. Um, around the same time, you, you have a, an answer for graduation. And this is, and you know, there's a couple comments in here. My senior will be at college by August 15th. I, I recognize that. That's kind of the reason we did it this way. We'll make sure we do a poll through with the seniors only, as Jen Savage uh, suggested that finds out because we don't want to leave people out. Right, exactly. And, and so what the latest date could be for people that we would have a graduation if we had to postpone it. Um, I have a daughter who's in eighth grade, so she's coming out of middle school and there's those middle school graduations. For her, her principal said a couple of days ago, she said, even if we have to have it their first day back for their freshman year, they'll do a graduation uh, move up day that night, the day before. So. Uh, they have it different than our seniors. So I want to make sure that we don't leave anyone out. Uh, so we'll make sure we ask all the seniors for those dates. And I understand some have to go. Uh, so we're moving to the next poll question? Or uh, there was a good piece on here from Russell about social distancing. Is there a priority? I have it on 13th. We didn't cover that. We'll make sure we do some better polls. Real tonight, folks, this isn't the only. So I'm glad you're putting these things in the comments. It'll help us make better questionnaires of all of you to make sure we're trying to make this work for everyone. Um, so, all right, so let's go back to just some of the other traditional senior events and some of you are that happen at the end of the year. Not, they're not just senior events. So Dino, if you can go to that slide and I'm not going to talk about any of these. I did talk about prom. I'm glad folks asked me about those. And we've talked about some of these, the national technical honor society, the national arts society, music awards, drama awards, uh, the appreciation night we've been talking about that so all that's been working really well um i you know we're gonna we're trying to we want to have as many of these as possible that's our goal it may be some sort of combination to make it work uh but i want to really have you know that this these are our priorities to get these off so and so we'll make sure i see some others putting some other people uh, going off to Marines and things about those dates. So we'll make sure we ask all the seniors what their dates are. Um, so uh, I want to go all to, to, there's a poll that's up right now that people are going to that's on, if we can only have limited events, please rank them in order of importance. Um, and I think people are doing that. And are you showing that up there? Can you switch to that slide? Yep, yep this is great. I mean, I just, I only put up some of the events. I didn't put all of them. Uh, we're asking people to go to that. Uh, you can see it's up there, what your priorities are. It helps us know. Uh, we want to make sure we try to get as many of these things done as possible. Uh, our goal, if we could do it and we have our way, is to have all of them. So, right. uh, but we want to know what's priorities for you right now. And we'll be asking the seniors this in the senior poll as well. Uh, because we want to hear straight from them as well. So this isn't the only time to give us feedback. We've had about uh, 27 people in so far 
uh, uh, it's jumping. So we'll let this, let's let this go, Dino, for a little bit here sure. before we wrap up here. And so I'm really glad to see all of you participating. Uh, we've been going for about 40 minutes. Wow, it doesn't even seem that no, long. It doesn't. It's been good. You guys have been great giving us comments. Um, and we'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure some of these out. Let me go over some of the comments that are in the chat. Um, yeah, Jen said, not all the important events are included. Yes, we'll have another survey that has more of all the events so you can rank them in priority. What I found when I was putting this together to be able to see it on the screen, I couldn't give all of them, but if I do it in a Google form or uh, uh, Survey Monkey, it'll be easier for all of you to see those. And, and so we'll get more data. This is the beginning of data. It's not the end of data right, gathering. General poll. General poll. Uh, I saw we need to have a specific date. Each one's our month apart. We can't wait for guidance and then plan two or three weeks after the restrictions are lifted. Uh, we're hoping we'll have some guidance from the Agency of Education on May 8th uh, about, and that, you know, and I think that also gets into the timeline of what they're seeing from the governor, is seeing from the, uh, what's coming from the epidemiologists for lowering the restrictions. So I think that's one of the reasons why AOE, I may be reading into it too much, but why they're waiting to May 8th for guidance on graduation. Uh, the Menti leak again is down at the bottom there. It's menti.com. The code's 589416. Um, problem's not on the list. It's top priority. Hear you. Hear you loud and clear on that, Ella. We gotcha. We'll do a survey, monkey. Yeah, someone said that'd be great. Uh, and so, uh, and talking about specific dates. Yeah, it does seem premature to talk about specific dates. We just, we can't get that specific right now. Right, exactly. Yeah, so. We're, we're just trying, this is like a dip-stip poll. So don't take it as if this is the end of it. It is just the beginning of getting feedback. So, right. uh, so Dino, maybe we can go back to the, sure we've thing. had 75, well, let's, let's just, 75, 77, it's kind of top it off right there as we've been talking. We can um, always check back in too. Let's check back in. I'll give some more information on how you can give more information back and yeah, some of our voting. priorities. So keep voting if you want. We're gonna switch over. We'll switch back to the to that slide. Perfect. Uh, I think we're up with, uh, can we go to our goal here, the goal slide, the next sure. one? So our goal really is, is to make sure we have celebrations for the great work of all our seniors. Um, we want to host as many, as I've said this a few times, many of the events as we can in a safe and healthy way. Uh, we want to include student volunteers in both the decision making and the implementation. I have been so, it was so heartwarming to receive emails literally the night after, uh, about an, within an hour we sent that letter saying, hey, I'm willing to help pull something off as a parent and I'm willing to help make you plan and what can I do to help? that just showed me the great community that we live in here around St. Albans. So uh, we're going to keep that going and, and keep that going forward. It, it was just really, really heartfelt and uh, we're going to make that happen. Uh, I want to give, uh, a, if we go to the next slide, I think, do you know, there's one there about how they can give sending information. Is that the oh, next one? The rough timeline. Oh, the rough timeline. Sorry. So there's a rough timeline here. Uh, we'll make sure this is up on the web on green and gold and on BFA uh, website and on our Facebook. These are some of our decision points. If we can push them closer to the event, we will. Uh, this is the best decision point right now. So I just wanted to let you know that. Prom's going to the decisions the end of next week. We'll get that out by then. Uh, senior family brunch, you can see that. It's going to be around May 1st. The senior potluck class slideshow, there's folks that we already have on reserves. Uh, to help us do that and we're trying to check in with them to see if how flexible they are with their dates uh, The hypnotist is one some other folks that do other things there uh, The senior sports banquet we think is about the 11th the class night about the 18th of May the senior receipt of, uh, of Yearbooks and caps and gowns. We can probably almost go within a couple of days of when that happens and graduation uh, I told Ms. Callahan and I were discussing yesterday and she's like, really? I said, I'm going to push it as far as I can to make that decision so we can try to have it on the 13th of June. I want to be really clear. My goal is to have graduation on June 13th. Um, so we can go to the next slide there. We're taking ideas and suggestions. Uh, this, what you've put up in the YouTube chat has been great. Uh, there's some great uh, ideas in there. We're going to make sure we publish those. We have a document that we've been keeping since uh, 
the announce the announcement by the governor that schools were closed for the rest of the year of ideas for graduation. People have just given us stuff through email. We keep pasting things in there. Um, if you have suggestions, please email them to either myself or better yet to Miss Callahan. Uh, we're organizing these into an idea. We'll probably go over some of these ideas and get more of them back to you. Uh, like I said, I think we'll be back the end of April, beginning of May. Uh, we're not gonna have information back from the AOE until the 8th of May. Let me take a look quickly at the chat. Um, Do you have a question about communications? Uh, about from, communications. From Tina here. From Tina. I don't, oh, from Tina. My senior switched her gears, but is so personally working hard and receiving her diploma. Any info emailed on how to get the list? I'm not sure which list she's talking about. So probably with. just on the, the district communication. Oh, list. Yeah, 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 yeah. So please email Miss Callahan what list you and what information you want to be on, and we'll make sure we get it to you. We get, you get put you on the list for seniors. Yep. And will the Art of Divorce, uh, I'm glad to hear this is working well. We'll do it. Um, we're actually, uh, Miss Wright and I are talking about doing one for the whole school next week on starting continuous learning and people asking us, we're going to be doing that. This is the first we've announced it. We haven't announced it anywhere. Dino and I just talked right. about it right. literally an hour before this one. I'm glad to hear this is going well. Um, we're really trying to, to get out information. We know we have to do it multiple method, multiple forms, multiple ways. Uh, but if this works well, uh, we're willing to do Zoom chats, but those you seem to, sometimes you talk over each other. Right. So we really like having this chat room. I, I frankly stole the idea from a couple uh, vlogs, video lo logs that I follow for people I follow for some of my personal interests and said, saw it two weeks ago and I was watching one. And I'm like, hey, we're gonna do one of those. And uh, I know Colchester High School has done something like this as well. It looks like we also have a, a question about social social distancing at, um, at at graduation. So we'll have to get more on that. Right. We just don't know enough about graduation and social distancing. So we'll figure we'll have to figure that out. Um, you know, I'm sure we can do something. We could. I'm sure we could probably get the the community broadcasting channel as well to help us if we need to broadcast right. something really live. Or it really all depends on the information we've got at the time from the state departments. Yeah, and we'll use technology as much as we can right. to help us with that. So we'll get into that. Um, so I'm glad this is working. Um, and I know that we can't reach everyone through it, but we're really trying to, uh, to get to everybody. So maybe, Dino, we can wrap up here. We're at like 10 sure. of seven. Let's take a look at that poll again. We've had about 86 people. Sure, I'll really looks up. like you got that on? Yeah, yeah, it really looks like graduation's number one. The senior potluck class slideshow project graduation's number two. Uh, class night and senior class family brunch and senior sports banquet are kind of tied there for three, four, and five. This is just a sample poll. It's not making any decisions. I want to be really clear on that. We'll do a much more inclusive polling system using SurveyMonkey. We'll probably have a poll for parents and a poll for seniors themselves. Uh, so we can grab all that information and give that back to all of you. Uh, it's been great. You guys have been awesome tonight. I've been really, really, it's been really interactive on my end. I was wondering how I was going to talk for an hour. Uh, but with all the chatting, Dino, you've been a huge help. I want to thank you so much well, again thanks. for setting this up. Uh, you've been a great partner and helping monitor the chat. And I want to thank Miss Callan. She's out there taking notes from home right now uh, to help put this all up, but you should all know a lot of the stuff that goes up on Facebook, she's not the only one, but the Green and Gold blog and the Facebook, she's really the, the person behind the curtain getting a lot of that going. So she deserves a lot of praise and she's doing that with graduation organization. And you know, I know she sent an email to all of you earlier this week when she gave you the link, but said, you know, this is something to, near and dear to her heart is BFA graduation. And she wanted to make sure we really were communicating and getting information out to all you seniors and parents. So once again, uh, thanks a lot. Really appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, this has been a great event. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing it. I hope we got you some information. And please take away that this is just the beginning. Thanks a lot. And uh, hopefully we'll be talking to all of you soon.